Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're taking a quick look at a few C9 drywall contractor license exam questions. Which of the following is the most likely to cause high joints? The correct answer is the mud is too thick. How many square feet of wallboard are needed to cover both sides of a wall that is 26 feet long and 14 feet high? The correct answer is 728 square feet. For safety, what should be done when there is a break or change of elevation of 18 inches or more in a hallway floor? The correct answer is provide a ladder, ramp, or temporary stairs. Now these are just a few of the thousands of possible questions that could appear on the C9 exam. Remember, there's, there's a lot of questions that are rotated in and out, so you're not always going to see the same ones if you do retake the exam. There is a lot of information referenced on the test, planning and estimating. You're going to need to know how to perform mathematical calculations, uh, material specifications, installing metal framing systems, backing, ceilings, related materials, trims. Obviously, safety is going to be a huge part of the exam. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're prepared and that you have seen the right type of questions and you have the right type of information going into the test. 20% of the exam covers planning and estimating, 14% covers preparing for installation, 28% covers installing drywall, ceilings, and related materials, 22% covers finishing, and 16% covers safety. What we've done is we've taken the most important information from A to Z, and we've condensed it into a summarized cliff note format. You're getting the most specific information covering exactly what's on the C9 exam. It's presented to you in a very clearly written way with examples, descriptions, diagrams. You can either do the course with ebooks, physical study guides, online practice tests, online lectures. We're definitely going to emphasize that mathematics so that you're ready for those mathematics related questions. And then, of course, you also get an application preparation tutorial and review to ensure that your applications filled out correctly before you send it off to the CSLB. Just wanted to make this quick video. We've got two other videos that you can see below that cover uh, a lot more in depth into what's going to be specifically on the C9 exam, where do you take the exam, the law side of the test, what the process looks like, and you're definitely going to want to check that out. We've got another video that goes into the requirements, how you're going to need to fill out the certification of work experience so that you're explaining your drywall experience in the correct way and a lot of other information about criminal records and requirements. You're definitely gonna to wanna to check those out. Uh, thank you for your time. Definitely, if you have a question, drop it in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel. And then we have C9 crash courses available in the links below this video. I hope you found it helpful. Again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks again, and this is digitalconstructive.com.